why is it 86 degrees in Miami Florida when it's like almost the end of November like what the heck why I'm sorry good morning how you guys doing <laughs> it's just so annoying it just started getting cooler like last week it was getting cooler it was in the 60s and boom look at it now I just find it crazy man <sighs> but anyways I'm heading to the bank and uh, first this morning I woke up annoyed I had a booking somebody because I just put up my website and stuff so now people are able to go and book for themselves but because I'm still learning how it goes I I find like I like I didn't put in the appointment that I already had for this weekend which I wish I didn't now so I somebody booked this, um, this morning right now at 11 o'clock for passion twist and I ended up you know saying look this is um this appointment is actually not available I'm sorry da, 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 da. they never responded to my email and they never paid the deposit either so I thought okay this person must not want to really you know do anything so I went ahead and let them know that and you know give them another time to see if they want to come another time because of that kind that was supposed to come this morning her ass did not like I spoke to her all last night I'm very understanding people could be two damn hours late and I still take you because I'm understanding of time and I'm understanding that things do not always go as planned all of that crap happens but what I don't appreciate is when you know your day or whatnot is not going as planned and you don't let me know is what pisses me off then. Because if you let me know what's up, that gives me time to tell that person because she wanted to come at 11. If you tell me at 8 o'clock that, oh, I can't make it, you know, when you realize things were going wrong because she said her daughter... Um, this this and that was throwing up and you know she was locked in you've been locked in since eight seven let me know something dude then that gives me time to you know still make my damn money so i was annoyed well i'm kind of still salty about that but we're not gonna keep that negative vibe going throughout the day so we're gonna change things around um, I know it's bad when you don't make money, but you still go shopping, but I do need to go shopping because I've been doing the I'm shopping for Christmas and stuff. So I'm Getting stuff to decorate. So yeah, but um, I'm annoyed <sighs> So I went ahead and booked somebody late And yeah, we're gonna do here late tonight that's just what it is but anyways this is my little rant i'm so sorry about the rant i hope you guys are having a better day than i am and i'll see you guys in a few i didn't notice how much weight i already lost but i took this thick and it was gonna be so tight it's so fluffy on me but i don't know i don't like it and look glitter is everywhere okay they look the cute <laughs> not on me i look i'm not wearing the right back of that one i don't know man i don't know i don't know y'all i don't know oh, by the way you guys i have my um short still high waisted i have my, my waist plus my sport but so i'm fully dressed under this yeah. 
I like this because the one is not glittery. Yeah, I I kinda I kinda am feeling it. I still have my clothes on there. I only took off my shirt like <laughs> I'm fully clothed under here. only purchased that one dress I wasn't gonna buy it I said if it was $5.99 I was gonna buy it and then it was $7.99 and I still bought it yeah and I got some stuff from Ross and I got some things from Didi's um, I wanted to go to Burlington well, that's only because I want to go find Christmas PJs for the kids so that we could um, do like our vlogmas things but um, I don't know if I'm gonna still do that we all will see to get jewelry for my clients so yeah anyways i'll see you guys back home with the kiddo all right guys i'm in a different car as you can see um i got my baby with me because i'm about to head to the apartment and go wash some clothes mommy, what's up baby mommy, Washing clothes, princess. You want to go back home with uh, brother and daddy? No. Okay. No. Okay. We'll see what we can make happen. She's still in her like PJs. She saw the bowls that I bought her, so she took one out and she wanted to put it on her hair. So I put it for her. And now we're heading to wash some clothes. Um. So this morning, right, I was gonna wash the clothes. That was initially why I was like, okay, let me get out of the house, do all the things I have to do, da da da, da all of that. But being me, of course, being myself, I was like, oh, I wash clothes on Monday. I was like, I already washed clothes. 
away and at least I know that's done so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get it out of the way yeah because it could be pretty bad next week for me it's Thanksgiving I have all the doctor's appointments for me and Alea and I need to possibly make it in one and I know I'm about to get a whole lot of appointments so yeah yeah, she wanted to come to the pool area. This is the pool area of the apartment complex. You can't have your shoes. Take off your shoes. You can dump your feet in there, but you can't. You, you can't have your shoes on. Without her trying to take them off. Yeah, this girl loves water, and it's sad because I can't swim. So, which means. She can't go in the water. Alright, let's see. We put our feet in it, okay? Okay. Well, Christmas is here, I guess. Look at that. It's complex. My friend's complex decorated too, but I don't want to show you how she lives. So, I'm still in my car. I'm heading to see my friend. It's her birthday and she's having a birthday party. I can't go because I have to get back home and attend to a client. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go see her now. The kids are in the back sleeping. Can't see them. This lighting is good though. But yeah, that's what's happening. I'm done washing the clothes, by the way. Oh yeah, this this creepy guy was creeping me out by the pool when I was showing y'all I was by the pool. He came in and he was staring us down. So I just left because I was like, hell no. Then while I'm leaving, he was like, y'all gotta leave because I'm here. Um, you know, I was like, no, I'm not leaving because you, I'm you're here. You just gotta leave. Then he goes, oh, you have a husband. You married? I was like, mm-hmm. I took them by the poultry. Like, I don't know. Three hours ago almost. I'm still in pain. I can't wait to remove the seat. I have this part of my wisdom here. The upper one. This one. And an upper one. It's so stressful. But anyways, I didn't vlog much. I, I don't know, today I was a terrible vlogger. Like, everything I did, I barely vlogged it. So, yeah. It's almost 2 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go to bed. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm in pain. Hopefully when I lay my head down, it goes away. But I have an early morning appointment. So I probably won't upload the vlog for y'all tonight. It'll probably be tomorrow morning or something after my client. But I'm gonna do my best to edit it before bed. Or at least try. But we'll see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Vlog, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.